Mr. Uh, Speaker, even though Senator Chiragay has referred to Standing Order 98, I also want to draw his attention to Standing Order 121 on disorderly conduct. Yes, every senator has got the right to rise on a point of order, but it is further qualified in Standing Order 121. A senator is disorderly if the senator creates disorder, knowingly raises a false point of order, or unnecessarily interrupts proceedings or consults in a disruptive manner. Mr. Speaker, Senator Chirargei is very guilty of unnecessarily interrupting proceedings. And Mr. Speaker, the House of Commons from which we draw part of our traditions from, they have amended their standing orders and have done away with frivolous points of order such that you allow a member who is on the floor to prosecute his case, to make his statement, to argue out his case, and then you wait for your turn to argue out. Mr. Speaker, in as much as we still have Standing Order 98, but we must make sure that it is not an excuse for people to engage in debate, and not an excuse for showmanship, and not an excuse for unnecessary disruption of debate. Senator Alan Chiriot, Majority Rinda. You know, Mr. Speaker, Senator Kajuang should not close the page uh, on which he was reading. Yeah. I want him to read further down. Standing order number 121, subsection 2. On who m has the sole mandate and the power to call what disorderly conduct is. I think, uh, you know, I know Senator Kajuang comes from Homer Bay and uh, he has a habit sometimes of grabbing things that don't belong to him. Uh, don't allow him to grab your powers, Mr. Speaker. It is only you in this house who can declare a senator to be out of order or behaving in a disorderly manner. It's quite unfortunate, Mr. Speaker, if you let him get away with that. Standing Order 121.2 clearly stipulates it's the Speaker who shall make the call on whether a senator is orderly or disorderly. Senator Moses Otieno Kajuang is not the Speaker of this House, Mr. Speaker. Okay, uh, Senator William Cheptumo. Mr. Speaker, what um, 